Hey guys, today I will show you how to add noise to your animations in a couple of different ways. Hey, this is Nina from Cashew and let's get started! Today I will show you how to add noise and textures to your animations. This is the final animation that we are going to uh, create and this is how it looks without the noise and the textures. So as you can see there is a big difference. So let's get into it. First let's start by adding the noise to our character. We will be adding the noise to the body first. So the first thing is to duplicate the body. So I already have my character animated. I will just click Ctrl D to duplicate the body and then I am going to create a mask however I'm going to click on the circle and then I'm going to click on this icon over here because my body is a shape and I want to be creating a mask within this shape and not another shape I'm gonna click on this icon and I'm going to draw a circle like this yes and uh, let me just adjust the path a little bit and then the mode of this layer should be changed to dancing dissolve I'm going to add a fill to it uh, so I can see it and then I'm going to click invert so I can invert the mask. Then I'm going to take the color of the body of the monster and then I'm just going to make it darker so I can have this very cool shadow. Uh, then I'm going to open up the settings and I'm going to change the mask feather to 63. Okay, so now as you can see you have this very very cool noise of the body. Now uh, I am going to duplicate this layer that I just created and I'm going to adjust the uh, the mask a little bit so I'm just gonna make it like this then I will change the color and make it a lighter pink yes like um, yeah let me just yeah like this and I'm going to repeat the same process with the eye so first I'm going to duplicate the eye then I'm going to add a mask I'm going to invert the mask I'm going to make the noise gray and then I'm going to adjust the mask feather and I am going to make sure it's dancing dissolve great and I will repeat the same process with the other eye I use the same technique to uh, add the noise in the mouth as well. So basically, same thing, uh, the mask feather here is five and the noise is a bit darker uh, than the tongue. And I use the exact same technique to animate the trampoline and the shadow. Now, let me show you how to create this texture. As you can see, there is a film texture and there is a like a dirty texture there as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm gonna show you how to first add this texture. I already have like this file. This is a file that uh, I basically downloaded from FreePick. Uh, it's free, so you can download it and it's a still image. And now we want to make it animated. So I'll go to the uh, fifth frame and I'm going to click Control Shift and D so I can cut and duplicate. Now the new layer that I have, I would like to flip it and then I will also rotate it a bit because I wanted to make sure this frame is different from the first frame. On the 10th frame, I'm going to again, click Control Shift and D to cut and duplicate, but this time I'm going to copy the first layer and I'm going to paste it here. Now I'm going to copy and paste the second layer and then I am just going to copy and paste all the layers and move them here. Okay, let me let me rename that texture. I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to drag and drop it here. Now uh, I just need to scale it a little bit. Make sure this new composition is on multiply and this is how it looks. Okay, it looks pretty good to me. And now it's the time to add the other texture that we have over here. This is this texture and I did the exact same thing by just uh, creating two different layers and copy and pasting them. You can just drag and drop it to your composition and make sure the mode is on multiply again. Yeah, so this is how our uh, animation looks. If you're wondering how I animated the trampoline, uh, that was pretty easy. I just basically changed the shape and animated the shape of the trampoline a little bit when it goes down, as you can see. And then I just added another uh, shape layer that I made black and I animated the scale of it. And this is how I created this animation. Let me know if you like this tutorial in the comments below and the project files will be in the description as always. Thank you for your time and see you next week.